It's all good at Casey's General Stores. Right now, buy any large specialty pizza and get any medium single topping pizza for only $8. Made fresh for your order. Meat and cheese piled high for you. Casey's General Store. Casey's, it's all good. From the moment he arrived, Marley was one of a kind, just like your dog. Help him make the most of every laughable, lovable year with Purina Puppy Chow. Long live rascals. Long live your dog. Purina Puppy Chow and Purina Dog Chow. Marley and me, only in theaters. No matter where you live, you've got a front row seat to your favorite team with NHL Center Ice. It's the only way to see all of your favorite teams, even if you don't live in their area. Subscribe now and see all the action from wherever you live. Because with NHL Center Ice, every game's a home game. NHL Center Ice, the game lives where you do. I've got a tip for you. Reduce stress with Dish Network. Yeah, that's right. Dish Network can make your life easier. Just sign up for auto pay with paperless billing. With auto pay with paperless billing, your Dish Network bill is always paid on time. No postage, no hassles. Just visit dishnetwork.com slash my account to get signed up. So not only does it reduce stress, it also reduces some of this. Auto pay with paperless billing from Dish Network. Mitch Holtis back with Hall of Fame coach Jill Hutchison. We're in Cedar Falls, Iowa. Time now to announce or give you our trivia question. It's brought to you by the Sherrod and Doubletree Westport Hotels in St. Louis. For your next trip to St. Louis, including this 2009 State Farm Women's Postseason Tournament, stay in Westport Plaza with 18 restaurants and shops. All right, who's the all-time Valley Conference leader for assists and steals? Question might be a little blue. We'll get to the answer later. There's a three for Luna. Too strong. Jarrett. Wow. Strong in the arrows. Indiana State. Talking about Wipazinski tonight. Here's a look at Shilly. But Wipazinski, he said she'd be a key tonight. Two points and six turnovers to go along with two fouls. And this is a kid that had 24 points and 14 rebounds against Evansville. Yeah, I think she's in an off night, needless to say. I think she's a much better player than that. Shane with the ball and four fouls. There's a push. Rubens trying to give a lot of attention to Luna. And that now will put Indiana State into the first bonus. And that's just where they want to be. Luna 73% at the line this year. But that's actually 10 points down from a year ago. She shot 83. A year ago, she had some huge free throws down the stretch to beat Evansville. I'll tell you, she has to work really hard for all of her shots, though. I'm impressed with the conditioning she's in. Absolutely. She plays hard on the defensive end. She rubs all photos, staggers, doubles, singles. And she's playing seem, at least 30 minutes a game. Doesn't seem to get fatigued. We saw Twas and work on that fade off that second screen in practice today. She hesitates as lost. Exactly. She loses her rhythm when she doesn't take it right away. Shirley High Low Cooley. It's going to be an offensive foul. It's going to be a hook called on Cooley. Moody perplexed. That's only the first foul on Cooley. That's 17 fouls with no foul shots, of course. The offensive foul by Cooley. Back had been quiet for a while. Now she's 
Barking loudly again. She has 17 of the 44 Panther points. I feel like uh, you and I just getting back in rhythm against the man defense. I'll be anxious to see if Jim Weedy changes back and forth between his man and his matchup. Cooley. She's had some big buckets now. She's had silencers. When they needed buckets to answer runs, Cooley's come up with it. to shoot and another steal yeah, 17 not a good angle that time though is they put Beck in a bad spot 17 steals tonight for Indiana State and 22 turnovers for the Panthers Luna not this time Yeah, with Zinski had a mismatch. Nice recovery that time, though, by Cooley to get there. Maybe some tired legs, but not that tired, because she chased her own miss. It'll be two shots for Lizzie Beck. Luna has three. Luna, three. Jarrett, three. Shane, four. Fouls for Indiana State. All perimeter players, and that's where they have the biggest problem suddenly. <laughs> that closing in on a career high. That's 18 tonight. It's the same output she had against Indiana State here last year in a Northern Iowa victory. Her career high is 22 against Southern Illinois earlier this year. possession game again. Indiana State cannot shake Northern Iowa. But on the other hand, Northern Iowa cannot get the lead either, and Indiana State doing a good job of maintaining that. And again, to Kelsey Cooley. She's got some long levers that reach above Beck. They're going to give the basket to Thomas. She has 10. Oh, I'm sorry, that was Thomas. Beck. They look a lot alike. But yeah, Cooley's off the floor. Clawson offline and Thomas. It's a bucket and a board now for Indiana State. She's brought some fresh legs to the floor and you can tell the difference. Usually Valley home courts mean wins for the home team. Last year they had the country's best home court winning percentage at 68%. We mentioned his swing though. Jim Weedy, six and 10 on the swing. Luna takes a shot to the face and she's gonna get two shots. Lizzie Beck, and she's got three fouls. Yeah, Beck uh, got there just a step too late. Luna did a nice job attacking the basket. And, you know, thank goodness she can score off the dribble and on a catch and shoot. That makes her so much more difficult to defend. Yeah, it's just not all about the three ball for her. Yeah. 17 for Luna, averages 15. Christy Cerrone leads the Valley in scoring, and then the freshman Casey Garrison, second in the Valley from Missouri State. But Luna, number 33, is third in the Valley in scoring. She also lets the game come to her. She just doesn't force a lot of You're things. She's a good right. pace to her game. And she's taken so much more responsibility trying to talk to her teammates and get people where they need to be that if she hasn't forced things. She's got a breather right now with Sarah Paul on the floor. Quietly back up to a seven point lead for the She Trees. Rubens uses the ball fake. Five for Rubens. Rubens having a good game tonight. She came into this game four for 14 from the floor for the season. Thomas. Jarrett launches. Count it. Three tonight for Bianca Jarrett. Three threes, Bianca Jarrett. And as everybody faints in the Wabash Valley in Terre Haute, she had seven for the year coming in. Yeah. 
I've been impressed with Indiana State's ability to answer in this second half. Because you kind of get the sense Northern Iowa's going to kind of overtake him, and yet they keep keep pushing him back. But speaking of the push, this time it's Shannon Thomas and an and one opportunity for Lizzie Beck. When we come back, Lizzie Beck will have a chance to tie her career high. Where can you get the best milk? From Tom, from Russ, from Laura, and Maggie. It comes from all of us. We're Prairie Farms, and we don't just work for the dairy. We are the dairy, making sure the milk in your child's school, in your stores, and on your table is fresh and healthy, handled with the kind of care that your family deserves. We are Prairie Farms Dairy. Ask for us, the farmer-owned dairy. I know this drill. I rack up a big charge on my credit card. I get a tote bag. <laughs> well, actually, with our points program, you can get gift cards, flat screen TVs, even plane tickets. How do you get enough points for that? Oh, all kinds of ways. By using your debit card, your credit cards, checking account. Online. I don't believe you. What? You're messing with me, right? No, I'm not messing with you. Can I still get the tote bag? Absolutely. It's not just banking. It's National City. Some of the most important decisions you make happen every day without much thought, and they can impact the rest of your life. Good decisions affecting your health can also happen outside of your doctor's office. They're made when you decide to work out or not, when you choose what to eat. We believe the more you know, the better choices you can make. Mercy Health Plans is here to help you with access, information, and guidance so you can make the best choices for your health. Mercy Health Plans. The way we care makes all the difference. How much sugar is in these energy drinks? Let's find out. While waiting, you should know. 5-Hour Energy contains zero sugar and only four calories. Its blend of B vitamins and amino acids can help you feel awake, alert, and productive for hours without the crash or jitters. The answer is 12. Over 12 teaspoons of sugar and 200 calories in these energy drinks. Zero sugar and four calories in 5-Hour Energy. There's a reason people choose 5-Hour Energy two and a half million times a week. 5-Hour Energy. Hours of energy now. No crash later. Mitch Holt is back along with Jill Hutchison. Northern Iowa trailing. Indiana State 56-50. Let's take a look at tonight's game reset made possible by Emerson, the global manufacturing and technology company. To learn more, visit Emerson.com. Emerson, consider it solved. You see the fouls issue for both teams as we're getting close to the double bonus. Indiana State, usually Jim Witte, we've seen him spend those timeouts. But all of a sudden, he's the guy that's got three in the bank. Tanya Warren took several of hers in that first half, trying to get her team straightened out. She's going to want one or two of those back, I have a feeling. 22 for Beck. Ties a career high. Set earlier this year against Southern Illinois when she had 22. Beck going to take a rest with Pazinski in with uh, Broke now in the post. Jarrett goes by everybody on the floor. She's going to leave him in the dust. I'm not sure Northern Iowa's going to want to use that press again. Wow. There's Wiley Coyote looking at the roadrunner just run right by him. <laughs> That's about right. And another answer for Indiana State. Seven-point lead, time running out on the Panthers. And finally, Wipazinski making her presence felt with a nice offhand turn. She may be a kid that would rather be away from the basket to attack it. I don't know. We haven't seen her really too successful on the block tonight. Twelve to shoot. It's been Cooley's night. She is on. Twelve for Cooley. And she's five for seven from the field and not taking any bad shots, as I can recall. No, she's had good open looks, and Northern Iowa has failed to come out and contest those shots. What do we got here? The save hit the side of the backboard. I think it's going to be Indiana State's basketball. Good call by June Corteau. June, one of the leading officials in the nation. She's worked a lot of ball. Yep. Yeah, 
June just said, it hit the side and blue ball. Jim Whitty's crew can be a little bit careful now with possessions at the 150 mark. In the women's game, five seconds less than the men, so time runs out a little quicker. Jarrett. Not so much this time. Northern Iowa. Well, Jim definitely trying to run a clear out for Jarrett that time. Quasson. Air, air balls it. Oni, that's been her shot tonight. 13 for Oni. Four three-point makes for Caitlin Oni. She's almost doubled her season output from three tonight. Well, she's not shot the ball inside the three-point arc yet. Jim Pee calls timeout. Brittany Shane can take it. Her dad coached her at Elizabeth, Indiana, so she's used to the old drill instructor from Camp Pendleton. He's wondering why they didn't at least contest that shot. All right, it's time now to answer our trivia question. Again, it's brought to you by the Sheraton and Doubletree Westport Hotels in St. Louis. Who's the all-time Valley leader in assists and steals? She's setting on the bench for Indiana State. The Indiana State assistant coach, Melanie Beglin. 685 assists, 444 steals, one of the greatest to ever play in America's Renaissance Conference. Man, was she fun to watch. She was fun to watch. She's a great competitor. I have seen very few kids that play with her passion for the game. One oh seven to play, Indiana State with a two possession, four point lead in the ball. Quick pass by Jared up to Shane, and she gets fouled by Beck. Jim's not a happy camper. I think he was trying to run more clock, and they took a quick shot that time, but he also didn't get the inbounds play that he wanted either. It's four on Beck. <laughs> He's kind of jumping Luna a little bit. Well, they didn't they didn't run an out of bounds play to inbound the ball that time. I think he felt fortunate that they uh, got it inbounded. Shane has not shot very many free throws this year. It's only her fifth attempt and third make of the year. Well, that's unusual. You'd it think is. a guard like that would be uh, kind of kid that liked to get to the hoop. As many minutes as she's played. Yeah. There's a lot to help this team. She's had three threes in three different games. Back to a six-point lead. Under a minute. And Northern Iowa really rushing things right now, feeling that urgency. Back. Cooley got it. And Northern Iowa can score with the clock stopped and still 42.5 to go. Beck has really impressed me tonight. She, she's, she's come in off the dribble. She's done it with her back to the basket. She's really done a nice job for Northern Iowa. This will be a career high for the sophomore from Lutheran High School in Milwaukee. If she can knock it down, she is four for five, now five for six from the line for tonight. One. My guess is uh, Northern Iowa will take a time out here and set up a press. <laughs> Got to get the Any make chance. to do that. They quickly foul Cooley and they'll go to the other end. Double bonus for Indiana State. Cooley, an 81% free throw shooter, may not be the right kid to foul. Tanya Warren's team undefeated at conference play at home. Beating Evansville, Southern Illinois, and Bradley here. Beating Indiana State the last two years here in Cedar Falls. Cooley. Win here by Indiana State, coupled with the win by Illinois State tonight, really separates those two somewhat. Certainly Bradley and Northern Iowa have fallen down a notch. And Creighton and Drake will play one another, which will move one of those two teams down a notch as well. Back. 
<laughs> miss. Cooley's going to get some more free throws. Beck's going to foul out. And Cooley walks to the other end. It is time now to announce our State Farm players of the game. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. No real mystery for Northern Iowa. Well, Lizzie Beck has done it all for them. The boards, the shooting, and she's not going to be excited to foul out on that last call. She did everything she could for this team to be successful. First time she started in a long time, she earned her time. That is not the last for her high. And there's Kelsey Luna for Indiana State. Just kind of a regular night's work for her. Yeah. In fact, uh, you know, typically she probably has 20-some points, but Luna is doing everything. And I am even more impressed with her ability to talk to her teammates and keep them focused and calm. She never loses her cool. She, she's just a very poised player. Speaking of cool, Kelsey Cooley has <laughs> made now. Ooh. Just jinx her. She My gosh, she almost got her own board, too. 13 of the last 15. But misses two, so Northern Iowa thinks they got a chance. Down seven here. Uh, got to make those shots. And Luna gets fouled. She'll walk to the other end. Our play of the game is a presentation of Rawlings. The basketball with more grooves, more grip, more game. And game is what Bianca Jarrett had tonight. She came in seven for 38 from three. She hit three threes tonight. Her last one was probably the biggest surprise because it, it wasn't as if she was looking for those and they just left her behind that screen uncontested. She's a competitor. A lot of upside and future for this Indiana State freshman class. Luna with 20. Six or seven at the line. It's going to be a nice win for Jim Witte's team. Keep in mind, he has had trouble on this swing and in this building and in this city in the past. Yeah, this is his first win in the McLeod Center. Northern Iowa made a run. They just couldn't get over the hump, and Indiana State showed some toughness with a nice road win for Jim Witte's team. That puts him now five and five on the road for the year. And nearing the halfway point, as Indiana State 7-1, and one, halfway will be after their Sunday game against Bradley. But over the past 10 years, teams that have won or shared the regular season championship at the halfway point with at least eight wins three times. They've had as many as three losses gone on to the regular season title. Jill enjoyed it. Indiana State gets the victory by seven. Great ball game for the Sycamores. Next television game comes up tomorrow. A doubleheader with the men, Northern Iowa. Nine straight league wins is at Indiana State at noon central. And Drake is on the road at Wichita State. 